Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Pernicious India Pale Ale from Wicked Weed Brewing of North Carolina. Wicked Weed just started showing up down here in 2018. This company was founded around 2011. 7.3% um, alcohol. It's a nice bottle. It's embossed here with like a hop cone features. Uh, Silver medal at the Great American Beer Festival IPA style 2015. That's good. Bottled on J January 2nd, 2018. Just last month. We're in here on in February. So it's fresh. I bought it at Martin Wine Cellar. It was, uh, I think, $2.50, something like that for the bottle. Wasn't super cheap, but wasn't super expensive. So I bought it. All right. Um, couldn't resist. All right. Glad I bought it. I hope it's good. Um, I wrote some things down. They don't give you the malt bill. I guess it's pale malt. They don't give you the IBU. The, am they, the hops, they'll get ready. The hops are Amarillo, Centennial, Citra, Columbus, Galaxy, Mosaic, Motueka, Pacific, Jim, Pacific, Jade, and Warrior hops. It's going to be like a, a wall of sound, a wall of hops. Beer Advocate saying an 85 out of 100, and they call that outstanding. Untap says 82 out of 100, and Rapier gives it a 99 out of 100, and a 99 out of 100 in the style. So they're looking at it as world class. There are a few video reviews, and I intend to watch those. Don't see any smoke here at 8.15 a.m. Okay. This bottle to spill. Okay, get that off from All right. Um, medium white head, slightly off white head. It is clear and gold. Clear gold. It's a traditional clear IPA. It's not the unfiltered milky style. Let's see if I can figure out the IBUs just from. Smelling it and tasting it. Smells somewhat piney, somewhat fruity. Uh, it's a bunch of hop resin. And white, sweet white bread. Not that differentiated from so many others I've reviewed, right? I've said the same thing so many times. I could think of different descriptors, but that would be dishonest. I'm going to call them like I'm smelling them, right? And tasting them. Same thing. Resiny, fruity, white bread. Um, the body's kind of light, light to medium body, and a mostly dry finish. Um, I think Torpedo is better. It has more depth, more depth of flavor. The Sierra Nevada Torpedo, which I never see anymore, believe it or not, it just like left the building. So many craft beers that I drank for years and years have disappeared from our area. Mostly because they've been pushed off the shelves by new things like Wicked Weed, and those don't usually hang around. And mostly, even more so, by local craft beers, which has taken over the market here. You go to most stores that sell craft beer, you're going to see one after the other Louisiana craft beer. It may be the same in your area. Your local stuff is crowding out the uh, out-of-state stuff. I don't know about other places, but here that's the case. And people don't seem to mind, they buy it right up. A little bit of lacing around the edges. Um, definitely some melon type thing, maybe. Hmm. You know, melon flavor. I don't know where this 99 out of 100 is coming from and 99 out of 100 in the style. That seems a little bizarre to me. 85, good. They're saying outstanding. I don't consider that outstanding. But yeah, I think it is. I'm going to try to swish and pour it. I don't think there's any sediment, though. Nah, I can see there's no cake sediment at the bottom. Um, it is a very good India Pale Ale. I don't think it was that great of a price, though, for the single. Uh, I mean, that would be like 
ten dollars for a four pack there's no way on earth I would ever dream of paying ten dollars a four pack for this it's way lower a silver medal okay a silver medal in 2015 that sounds about right but a gold medal beer ten dollars a four pack that is outrageous maybe if, if it was nine ninety nine a six pack maybe is it it's not even as good as Goose Island IPA okay there's a reference point and I'm not putting down Goose Island because I really like it Goose, you know the Goose IPA I think Abita's retired old um, their um, Giacomo IPA was richer and more flavorful and more enjoyable than this in the world of IPAs and there's a big world out there this does not stand out Elysian space dust ha 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 this would be destroyed by that in flavor and I know it's the same company Anheuser-Busch bought Anheuser-Busch InBev bought Wicked Weed they bought Elysian they bought Goose Island they let them run their companies independently but there's not it's not just the same old stuff within that, within those companies. No, no, it's very much differentiation, very much. And with the Red Hook, and the Widmer Brothers, and the Kona, which are uh, involved with Anheuser Busch and Bev in an equity agreement, there's just a big differentiation. So you have to try all of them. You can't just say, "Well, it's a buyout, so it's all the same." No, or an equity agreement in that situation. No, 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 not the same. And so on and so on with Raw and Sons and just goes down the line. So, um, this one's a B plus. It's very good. It's a very good India Pale Ale. But when you look at it in the context of India Pale Ale, that makes it just kind of so-so. Yeah. I wouldn't buy it again, but I'm glad I tried it. It's just not anything too remarkable, I'm afraid. A lot of very tiny powdery sediment. Mm. Oh well, that's the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> nice looking bottle though, gotta say that. Looks sharp. One of the best looking bottles I've seen. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Purple and green. Sort of like the Milwaukee Bucks <laughs> for a long time. All right. Um, I'm going to have a little snack because I haven't eaten anything all morning. It's fine. It pairs well. This would go better with some like Coors Banquet, but... I need something in my stomach. So, Laissez Le Bon Ton Relay, a very good India Pale Ale, but believe me, it's not hard at all to find a very good beer these days. That's simple. That's Most beers are very good. Y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana.